I'm Jenna Davidner, and we're here to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the return of Georgetown football. The program took a 13-season hiatus before returning in 1964 as a club sport and then achieving varsity status in 1969. Rory, you were the driving force behind bringing Georgetown football back alive. What was that moment like in 64 when 8,000 supporters came out to watch that game against NYU? We had no idea how many people were going to come because we had no way to sell advanced tickets. So we didn't know. And when games started, I think there were probably 4,000 people there that were staggering. And since they had to buy tickets to get in, the crowd just kept coming in for the most of the uh, first quarter. Seats filled up, and there were 8,000 people at a game that had very little publicity and three weeks' notice. So it was very, very gratifying. How special is it to see the guys today having so much fun on the field? It, it's great. I, I'm, I was amazed at, at the size of the squad, which shows the interest in, in football here, which is uh, very rewarding to see. The hard work of those who helped restore the program are the reason why the guys you see on the field today are able to be a part of the Georgetown football family.